Alrighty, I'm going to do an unboxing of a Phillips. If this works out well, I'll be using these in a couple of different spots. The main thing is, is I've got an X10 uh, home automation system, and while archaic, it's the one I choose to use, <laughs> and uh, a lot of this stuff does not work with it just because of the radio frequency interference. So I may end up using this bulb elsewhere. We'll see how it ends up working out. Let's see here. Maybe you guys hold the camera? Didn't think so. Let's see if I can get this to work out. The bulb is $4.49 or somewhere about there. Supposedly it throws light in a pattern that's like a standard light. Looks promising so far. Uh, grab my remote so I can get the weather channel turned down here. Hi Tobes. There we go. Now we don't have to listen to the weather channel. This is our, uh, oops, whoa, doggers, one of the downsides of the uh, home automation stuff, if you disconnect it and then reconnect it, while it's hot, it will fire up on you, just because that's how these things are designed, which I should probably just unplug the module, and we won't have to worry about it. can't see it on camera, but I can see there's like a slight donut effect, so you can kind of see from the side, but you can't really see from the front here. Almost looks like a fluorescent type tube. Oh, that thing is bright. So let me see here. Turn that down. And it is dimmable. Still can't see the thing. There, you can kind of see it on camera now. This is as low as that bulb will dim. So you can kind of see the uh, the donut effect, but it's really it's not that bad. I'm very pleased that it in fact works with the uh, home automation. I better pick this up because I know how this will go. Uh, let's take a quick look at the specs on these because as most of you who've seen my uh, videos before know that I find these highly entertaining. 22.8 years. So that's based on them leaving it on seven days a week, um, three hours a day or some ridiculous thing like that. Let's see here. All right, 22 uh, engineering testing, probability analysis, probability analysis. So that's not actually real world testing. Based on the average three hours a day, seven days a week. So, supposedly it's a real. Okay, only install environments between minus four and 113. Now that may be a problem for where I want to put this bulb, because I want to take one of those bulbs. Hi Tobes. Hi Ted. And I want to install one. Here. We have a bulkhead light. Let me turn that on. So we have a bulkhead light on the side of the house. 
And oddly enough, one of the things that manages to take this out more often than not is shock. Because when you close the door, it rattles the filament. And each time it rattles the filament, it takes a little bit of life away. So we go through light bulbs out here about every four months, maybe sometimes less. Hey, it's 40 degrees. I'm going inside. Kids are already shivering. Come on. You guys crazy? So we'll we'll see how that works out. I'm not super sure. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't often get that cold around here. And for four dollars and ninety nine cents, I think we can I think we can take the uh, take the chance on it. And it definitely seems plenty bright. Turn off the uh, overhead lights here. Yeah. That's just as bright as the other bulb was, if not more. Let's see what the other bulb was. The other bulb was a 60 watt. And this says replaces 60 watt, and it's actually 10.5 watt. So, I'm, I'm happy with it so far. I will let you know how this goes. And uh, it should save us more energy because we use that light a lot. That is one of the main lights when we're in the living room watching TV. We'll have that one on. We'll have this one on. That one there has a different style of bulb, so I'm not sure we can actually do anything about that one. You're not going to be able to see this, I know. Yeah, you can. Look at that. So if I can get a regular bulb to fit in there, maybe I'll put one of those in there. We'll see how that goes. Like I said, if that bulb actually lasts longer than uh, two weeks, then uh, we'll give it a shot and I'll put another one in. All right, that's it.